For about a year, renters have been ditching Manhattan and moving to Brooklyn. And if you wanna know why this is happening, today's five bedroom, two bathroom will clear all that up for you. This place is massive and it costs the same amount of money as a luxury one bedroom 30 minutes away in Manhattan. But here you get four extra bedrooms and one extra bathroom. That's enough math for me. Let's go have a look. Here we are at Graham Avenue in Brooklyn. To get here, we took the L train and that took us about 25 minutes. If you look down the street, you can see One World Trade. We're really not that far from Manhattan. But according to the map, we've got about a 15 minute walk to get over to the building. And that means we get to see the entire neighborhood. I was about to talk about what a great neighborhood this was and then I saw the worst coffee on the planet right here at Dunkin' Donuts. Best coffee's right down there. Best coffee, where? Right all day. What's up, Gavin? There you go. <laughs> local recommendation, thank you. Right over here, we've got local pizza. And if you don't like the pizza here, you can just walk right across the street and talk to Tony. He says he's got pizza as well. Right over here, you can get a tattoo. And here's that little coffee shop those guys mentioned. I hear the coffee here is really good. It's because I would literally come here every morning. Every morning? <laughs> Wow, okay, all right. I think if you move here and you don't visit that coffee place, you're making a huge mistake and you'll have no respect from the locals. This looks pretty self-explanatory. With a name like Meat Hook, they'll hook me. And there's even a meat store right across the street from that place. And it's cash only. The street we're on now, this is Graham Avenue and this is where all of these shops and stores are. It's also where the subway is. If you wanna get things done, do it here after you get off the train and your life will be pretty convenient. We're making our way over to the apartment and there's another tattoo place. This place looks a little bit friendlier than the first spot we saw. If you wanna get a skull tattoo, go to the first place. But if you'd prefer a heart or a flower, you should go here. Just down the street that way is the apartment and we're right by the park, which has a rather funny sounding name. And it looks like they've even got a dog run so your dog can make friends. And check this out, there's a cafe right here next to the park, Pie Corpse. They have berry pie, that looks like the right idea. Across the street from that, there's a liquor store, and across the street from that, there is a grocery store. Three halo tops for $12. Brooklyn will save you money on food and on rent. But how do you know if it's a safe place to live? If you ask the realtor who shows you the apartment, they're gonna tell you that it's perfectly fine. And right now it's the morning, which means we don't really have any idea what this neighborhood is like in the evening. Well, good news, I've teamed up with rentcity.co and here's how you can find out what it's like to live somewhere. Right here's where our apartment is. What you wanna do is get out your phone, type in the address, boom, it's gonna pull up the building and you can check out the crime rankings for yourself. Our building's got an average safety rating for New York City, which is a good thing. But this is a super quick way to find out if a neighborhood meets your safety standards. Definitely visit rentcity.co before you sign a lease. Let's head upstairs and check out this apartment. This place has five bedrooms and two bathrooms. And to be honest with you, it kind of feels like a small house with the way the floors and the windows look. Or maybe like a cabin in the woods. Either way, this is a huge place and there's a lot to look at here. So we're gonna check this place out. If you like it, or if you like what I said about Dunkin' Donuts earlier, hit the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe because I make between three and six of these a week and you'll definitely miss one of my videos if you haven't subscribed. Right there's the front door, then you've got the kitchen, and right here is the living space. From the window to the wall, you've got 16 feet 6 inches by 9 feet 3 inches, and that doesn't include any of this space here, which is a hallway that leads to those bedrooms. Either way, you've got two sections to work with here. Put your entertainment setup over there. That's where the last tenant had their TV mounted, and that probably means their seating was in this corner over here. You'd also be able to get a kitchen table in this area right here, and this kitchen looks awesome. 
got a full-size fridge, a four burner oven, a cool looking microwave, and there is also a dishwasher. No sprayer for the sink, but the sink itself is nice and deep. The one complaint that I think some people might have is that if you're using this as a five bedroom, there's only four outlets here. And that means that one roommate isn't gonna be able to plug something in. Oh, I was wrong. You've got two more outlets right here on the end of the breakfast bar. That bread maker you got from a colleague at work who hates your guts, you'll have enough space to plug it in here. Now, right next to the kitchen over here, we've got the first bedroom. And let's check this one out. Whoa, look at the light in here. Okay, I'm not really sure if this was used as a bedroom by the prior tenants because with a light like that, there may not have been a lot of sleeping going on in here. I better not touch the doorknob. Either way, this room is eight feet, two inches by 10 feet, 11 inches. There's a closet right here. And next to this closet, we've got a shelf. That looks like a pretty good nightstand. Now the view here is nothing incredible. We are facing the expressway, but since these are modern windows, there's not a lot of street noise coming in here and it's nice and quiet, even if the light is incredibly loud. I wonder if we'll see lights like that in any of these other bedrooms. It doesn't look like it in the second room. And the space here is 10 feet, 11 inches by eight feet, four inches. Closet space looks to be about the same. Also, it looks like these rooms all have their own heating and air conditioning systems. And that means that if this is your bedroom, you don't have to deal with a loud, noisy radiator. Ooh, I like this room. Two windows and some built-in shelving. This room is eight feet, two inches by 12 feet, three inches. Definitely the biggest room so far. Let's see the closet. This looks like the same closet we had in the first two rooms. If you wanna have a queen bed, so far this has to be your room. We'll check out the other two now and see what those are like. I love how things in this apartment are nice and spread out. The other two rooms are all the way down here at the other end of the hall. And this one has the coolest window by far. It's also gonna be the quietest because this doesn't face the street and we're not getting any street noise. This room is eight feet, eight inches by eight feet, nine inches. So far, I think this is the smallest room even though it's got the coolest window. Your bed's gonna have to go over here, over here by the windows because that's where the closet is. And since the closet closet's there and the front door's there. This is really the only spot for it. Okay, this right here looks like the big room and it looks like there's still some furniture in here from the last renter. This room is 11 feet 4 inches by 7 feet 8 inches. Okay, it looks like we're facing another building, but there is some natural light coming in here. Closet here's a pretty good size as well. And by that, I mean that it's the same size as all of the other closets we've seen so far. Now we're going to check out both bathrooms, the first of which is right right here. Oh, cool. I kind of like the setup in here. And this bathroom, it looks a little bit smaller. Let's see here. I could get in here and make this work, but I think that if you're an NBA player or something, that might not be enough for you. Good news. We also have a medicine cabinet and this bathroom doesn't have a bathtub. It has a standing shower. And I think this was the right decision. Having a bathtub in here would have been a nightmare. But as you can see, stepping in and out of this area to take a shower, not something that your insurance company would wanna know about. Now the other bathroom is right over here off the living room. You can see the lights in the party room still going on. I should probably turn those off at some point. Anyways, here we are in the second bathroom and this one's got the bathtub, that's nice. This sink here is a lot bigger and it also has a nice little medicine cabinet. Wait, I thought it had two mirrors, but it doesn't. Just one, that's fine, that's enough for me. Oh, it looks like there's also a sprayer attachment for the shower. That's gonna be perfect for cleaning every nook and cranny, especially those behind your ears. What did you think I was talking about? Huge shout out to Miles, the listing agent. His information's below if you're interested in this awesome apartment, which comes with a party room. That's how many rooms there are here. And then let's see some more apartments together. Check out one of these apartment tours and I'll see you in the next video.